Well, hello friends, Miss Ashley from the Crystal Lake Public Library back with another blow off some steam. Today, we're gonna make some floating fish and I found this in a book. It's Good Housekeeping's Amazing Science, 83 hands-on steam experiments for curious kids. You can find that in our parent teacher collection. Let's get started. Okay, so here's what we need to get started today. I have a glass pie plate. I have some water. And then I have dry erase markers, okay? So you wanna make sure that you get dry erase, that it says it on there. Please don't use permanent. It also is the type of marker that has the type of ink that will make this experiment work. We're gonna draw a fish. We're gonna make it float. So take your marker and you have my permission, but you need to ask your grown-up if it's okay if you draw on their pie plate. And we're gonna draw a fish. So I'm gonna draw the body of the fish and the tail. I'm just gonna go over it. There you go. And then that looks a little bit like a fishy. I'm gonna draw another one in a different color. And let's do the tail and the body. And I'm trying not to bring my marker up, right? I'm trying to keep the ink continuous. I fill in if I need to, okay? And then I'm gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna make a few waves just to see. There we go. Do you wanna let this dry one to two minutes, the ink dry? And while we're doing that, I just wanna talk a few moments about what kind of ink is in dry erase markers. We're able to remove them from our dry erase boards with paper towel or a, um, an eraser. So why is that? Well, the ink is engineered to be slippery. It has a chemical that causes it to release easily from surfaces. So in contrast to that, permanent markers are made with a chemical that makes the ink stick to surfaces. So again, don't use the permanent markers. The easy release ink in the dry erase marker lets it go from the surface, but why does it float? Well, there are two reasons. Dry erase ink isn't soluble, which means it won't dissolve in water. And second, dry erase ink is less dense than water, so it becomes buoyant, meaning that it can float. All right, let's give this a try. So you don't want to pour it in the middle quickly. You want to just inside the corner of your dish and add it very slowly until it just covers the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in the corner of the dish very slowly. And you can see that my black fish is starting to float a little bit, just the tail. Ooh, <laughs> there goes the rest of it. And there goes one of my waves. Over here, it's starting to float. Almost got the water over the bottom. There we go. So my black fish totally released from the bottom and is floating. Partially this wave is floating. The other half is down. And my blue fish, you can see part of it right here has lifted, but not the rest of it. And this wave didn't do anything. So I have a hypothesis on that. Um, I think that it is because I used more ink on this fish and that it's a little bit darker. So the first time I did this, I did it with a light marker and it worked, but I didn't know if that would be good for filming. So I traded it in for different markers and um, I learned my lesson. <laughs> you can see as I'm tilting the pie dish, 
the floating ink has moved around the surface, although it just got stuck over here on this side. The black fish did. There it goes, and now it released. <laughs> Pretty cool. So you can do this as many times as you want. Just dump out the water and the ink and dry it out and try again. I don't think the rest of this is gonna release. And you can try different shapes. You can try different thicknesses of lines. You can try different colors. And you could try drawing a completely different shape and see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here next time on Blow Off Some Steam.